morning folks, sorry for the A, the shaky video and B, the uh, noise in the background. The dogs are eating in the kitchen beside me. Well, the kitchen's beside the living room here. So I brought Stalin down the stairs. Um, I was going to do a video upstairs but the light's not great. It's not great down here either but it's better. It's raining today and I don't know. It's one of those days I've got something I don't want to do today I'm going to have to do. And, uh, but anyway, I was feeling very sorry for myself this morning. And I, oh God, it's been an up and down weekend. It was Damien's 14th birthday yesterday and it's Martin's 27th birthday today. So, but I did have uh, dinner at my sister's last night with, with my other two boys, with Martin and Alex both there, uh, my mum, my other sister and and Leo and Max obviously. Anyway, the, the point of this video was I was feeling sorry for myself and I put on a video that uh, went upstairs after Albert went to work. He took Alex to the train this morning. Because Luke's still here, still not up yet, quarter past nine in the morning. And <clears throat> the first video I put on was Mindy's Stars in the Forest, sorry. Video and if you haven't watched it or if you're not subbed to her, she's her, her YouTube channel is Stars in the Forest, and the video she put on was called A Lesson Learned, and I think everybody should watch it because it took me back to a time just like uh, about 18 years ago, whenever my husband and I had split up, and well, he'd left me and. Then he decided he wanted to come back, but I wasn't having any of that. Uh, long story short, his terms were ridiculous, and uh, I wanted a bit more in my terms. Uh, so his answer was to come and snatch the children one day. And he brought them back the next day, which was Alex's birthday, which is how I know Alex's fourth birthday. And... He made me promise to get back together with him and so on. And we took Alex out for the night. The two boys, Martin and Alex. Martin would have been nine at the time. And Alex and we went out for his birthday. And I had to spend the whole day pretending that everything was hunky-dory. That whole night, I had to pretend that everything was hunky-dory. And explain to my mum on the phone that everything was fine. And we were back together and everything. And she, she couldn't understand, of course. She didn't know what was going on. So the next morning... I got up and uh, my ex-husband went to work and I used that time to grab the children and run out of the house, first opportunity I had. So all I had was, uh, he, he was a mechanic, that first guy, and he had taken the rotor arm out of my car so I couldn't drive in it. So I had to phone my mum to come and pick me up and I gathered just the kids, didn't have time to wait about, just the kids uh, into the car. and. Oh, I will went to stay with her. But for that time, I had no home. I couldn't get any of my clothes back. My ex-husband sh uh, shredded them with a Stanley knife, everything that I owned. I got no personal possessions, you know, photographs of the children or anything out of the house. Um, just, just the kids. And I only had the clothes I stood up in. I, later on, my husband gave my older boy his clothes back, but not, not the younger one, for whatever reason. So I'm just thinking I've got a lot. I've, I've had to start from scratch a couple of times. It's the second time. I've had to start from scratch a couple of times. Uh, Mindy's story will tell you just how, how rotten it is to be in that position. So everything I have now is perfect. The other video I... I um, don't, don't get me wrong. I have absolutely no income. I have no... My existence is fairly miserable at the minute. Some of my friends know. But I'm a lot better off than a lot of people. I have a roof over my head. I've got some nice things, and I've got my babies, of course. I've got my dogs. I've got a cozy bed. Um, the other video I watched was Yogi's Baby Bad Chick Yogi Seventy Seven, about what babies she would part with and what ones she wouldn't. And I think the whole baby thing, the whole reborn thing. You know, I'm learning a lot about it. Even, I mean, I must be two years into it now. Um, 
Stellan's a baby that was a customer, a yogi customer, and I think I'm very lucky because I don't think she's going to be doing them anymore. Well, I know I'm very lucky. I don't think she's going to be doing them anymore. But if you can see his detailing. Now, this is an iPhone camera, and they're, they're wick. But he's a very special boy, and I'm very lucky to have him. Um, I've learned a lot. Sometimes I think there's babies I just have to have, and... Uh, I like them for a while and then the novelty wears off. But it's lovely to have the choice. But Stellan's a baby I'll never ever 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 part with. But Yogi was saying in her video she uh she's got some babies she'll never part with and she was telling us a bit about how difficult things have been for her and I mean from time to time everybody gets spells like that, um, where you you're on the brink of hell and Prayer is really the only way out of it. But uh, Yogi was saying about people that say mean things. Somebody had made a comment about her hair on a video, which was ridiculous. So my plea is for everybody to think before they, particularly the younger ones, to think before they type mean things or make mean videos. Nobody knows what's going on in anybody else's life or what's going on in their hearts. And you can't, as Yogi said today, you never know. It could be the last thing that person hears whenever you say something mean. And we should all be more aware of each other's feelings. And a lot of troubles, when you lose a loved one, it doesn't just pass by. My granny died, uh, what, before four years ago, later on this month. And I still miss her every day. My dad died three, three years ago in September still as fresh as yesterday I still get sad and I still sometimes think he died very suddenly when my granny we knew she was dying but I still forget that they're not here sometimes and I still I said recently to somebody somebody asked me something and I said oh I must ask my dad I'm studying at university I think English and my dad was an English teacher very well respected he ran an English department in a school that wasn't a good school, it was a rough school, but he ran it very well, and he was very much loved. And I still think, I must ask Dad. Oh, I can't. <coughs> so. And I still get up and down days like that. Please be aware of everybody else's feelings, and appreciate everything you have. Appreciate every day you have it. Love each other, and love your babies and enjoy what you do have. Anyway, that was a bit of a sermon I was preaching and it wasn't meaning to. I just wanted to show you this as a beautiful sleeper that the, the beautiful Natalie Loves Reborn sent for Stellan. And this is another, this is his dummy that Natalie sent. This is his bear. This bear came with, with Stellan. Um, and I'm not, it must be September I think he, he was born I must go and look up his birth certificate actually because his birthday will be and Darius's birthday that I've had him I've had him for a year will be coming up soon so we're going to celebrate that on the 4th of July because he didn't quite make it for the 4th last year so this wee man here he is and I shall speak to you all soon lots of love to everybody bye